What's poppin' my dudes? Now, today in this video, we're going to be opening up a Pokemon Sword and Shield. But wait a minute! We interrupt this program to bring you a much more superior product. And that much more superior product is... This Pokemon Tag Team Powers Collections box. Now I know what you're thinking, Bronze, why did you open up a different Pokemon thing when you said you'd open up Pokemon cards? Well, to that I have to say, let me show you in the last video what I got. I got Pokemon cards unboxing. This is Pokemon cards. As long as it's not a 10, I consider it part of the Pokemon card section. So, we're opening this one up today. As far as I know, this actually isn't supposed to come out on the market until the 10th of, uh, of April, and I bought it on the 3rd at my local Walmart. Of course, there are two different options you can use for uh, the uh, giant jumbo car. There's either Darkrai and Umbreon or Espeon and Deoxys, and they had Espeon and Deoxys, and obviously everyone is probably going to swarm for the Espeon and Deoxys because everyone loves Espeon, and everyone loves Deoxys. I mean, everyone loves Darkrai and Umbreon too, but I don't know if it's as much. I'm pretty sure the Espeon and Deoxys card is more valuable, the Jumbo one. But I don't know, I'll f future J Jackson, put in an editor's note and see which one's more valuable. Ooh. Alrighty, let me open it up and see what we have. I'm opening this up as gently as I possibly can. I don't want to mess anything up. There we go. For those of you that don't know anything about this pack, on the back of the box, it says it comes with one full art foil card featuring Espeon and Deoxys, one full art foil card featuring Number and Darkrai, one of two full art oversize or jumbo cards featuring one of these tag team Pokemon cards, one full art foil featuring Eevee, uh, another one, a promo featuring Caracosta. Three more featuring Leafeon, Glaceon, and Regigigas. My cousin really wanted the Regigigas. She even said she'd buy this whole box just to get Regigigas. Eight Pokemon booster packs and a code card for the Pokemon trading game online. And I was able to get this for about 50 bucks. So, eight, uh, eight Pokemon card packs, eight times four, is, which is how much a card pack normally is. It's like $32 plus the promos. I got, it, I got it for a reasonable price. Here is the promo cards. I will take these off and see them. Now, I'm going to get... Oh, shit. I'm going to get all eight packs in just some random order. They've got more Sun and Moon packs. Okay, they all just... They, okay, I'll just drop them. Whoop. Well, since it's out, let's go ahead and look at the Jumbo card first. Got this beautiful Espeon and Deoxys GX Jumbo card. It's very nice. I, I'd much rather prefer this one than the Umbreon and Darkrai, I'm sorry, I just... Look, look at that art! It looks so good! It's like Deoxys just fell from the sky and Espeon's the first one to see it. It's beautiful, I love it! They're still fucking trying to get rid of X and Y packs, that's so bad. I've heard the many rumors of getting a dead box whenever you buy something like this. I saw Maximofo get one with the uh, Tag Team Generations Premium Collection box that I opened up. Uh, earlier on this channel, I felt really bad for him because four of the seven of my cards were good cards, or four of the seven of my uh, pulls were good pulls, and he didn't get one good one. I felt pretty bad for him. But anyways, moving on, we are going to check out the least, probably least appeasing uh, uh, promo card that came in this box. We have a very nice Caracosta, even if it's the least, my least favorite one, it's still very beautiful, nice and foily and everything. Then we have the Secret second mascot of Pokemon, an Eevee GX foil card. That is a very beautiful card, even if I don't really much care for Eevee. But uh, a lot of people enjoy Eevee because, you know, and let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee. They secretly pushed Eevee in as the second mascot of Pokemon next to Pikachu, but I ain't falling for it. Regardless, though, this is still a very, very nice card. The blue on the outline of Eevee really fits in with the gray background. It looks really fucking nice. Second to last, we have the Umbreon and Darkrai GX card. Very beautiful. Very lovely. I wouldn't have minded this if there was a little bit more detail to it. Let's see, there's not much to it aside from like a back, uh, city background. I know you can't see much of it because of the reflection on everything, but you know, you can look them up if you can't really see too much about it and you want to see more. I, I would have gotten this one, uh, but it, you, you all know why I, I got the other one. 
It's because this last one, the Espeon and Deoxys GX card, is so beautiful. Look at that foil. It's like the foil is also in the explosion of the card. It's beautiful, and I love it. It's so damn good. Now, onwards to the cards we didn't see. We have a, a nice Glaceon card. Very nice. It's also a promo. We have a Leafeon. Whoops. <laughs> and uh, we have a Regigigas. The Regigigas one is the only one that has, like, glitter and stuff onto it. Still very, very nice cards, though. And here's the Leafeon in case you didn't get a full look at it. There it is. It's pretty nice. You know, I really appreciate Pokemon for getting... Uh, even though they have Sword and Shield cards and packs out and stuff, they still do GX promo cards and box of GX cards in it, because, you know, GX, the tag team thing, was is still really popular amongst the community. And I actually really enjoyed GX, because I got into Pokemon when GX was still the big thing, like the tag team, whenever uh, the Mew and Mewtwo tins and all that, and the ones in the background of my videos were a thing, like the Mel Metal and Lucario. I actually used to get into Pokemon when I was in, like, fourth or fifth grade, and I quit in sixth grade. I just ran out of it. I just, like, it, it, it I just got out of it because I didn't really care much for it anymore. I was a Yu-Gi-Oh! boy at heart, but here I am, ten years later, going back to collecting them. Let's see. Um, I'm going to shuffle up the cards really quickly. And we'll open them up like that. Do a nice little strip cut. Alrighty. And which one are we opening up first? Oh, it's the X and Y Evolutions pack. Look at that. Um, I do believe we open them up from the back. Yes. Okay. And um, let me see the, if the code card... Okay, the code card is on the back. Welp, I accidentally saw the code card. I think you guys did too. One, two, three to the front. We do not get rid of the back card. Because the X and Y did not have a card with it, or a energy card with it. We have Full Heal, we have Machoke, we have a Switch, these are some old looking cards, I really like it. Magnemite, Voltorb, Sandshrew, Poliwag, Diglett, could you imagine if I got like the fucking Charizard card in this? A Reverse Caterpie on the very end. <gasps> What is my luck in this fucking card game? Holy shit! Whew. I mean, this probably isn't worth as much as I think it's worth, but... Damn! The only X and Y pack I can recall opening, the first one, is the fucking M Charizard EX. Holy damn, I wonder how much this goes for. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, for those of you who didn't who saw it or not, it I accidentally saw the code card and it was that one, so I knew I was getting something good. But holy fuck, I didn't expect it to be Charizard. Oh my god, that is beautiful. That's going in a top loader immediately. Wow. Oh my. Damn. Man, that is something. First fucking pack, and it has a Charizard on the front. What are the fucking odds? Next, we are opening up a Cosmic Eclipse pack. Oh, there's no way we can top this video with that. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the code card. I'm not going to see it or anything. Um, get rid of it. There's that, okay. One, two, three to the front. Getting rid of the Lightning Energy. We have Roller Skater, Flareon, Absol, Cosmog, Panchan, Drillbur, Tangela, Eevee, a Reverse Trap Pension on the very end, a Holographic Victini. We are currently two for two with the car, or with the the good pulls. We're doing pretty good right now. Next is a Sword and Shield pack. Mm, let me open this up. Oh, come on, what is with the newer packs being harder to open? Okay. Um. Okay, code card is on the back, I do believe, so we are going to go ahead and flip it over. And, um, nope, that it was not right. It's normally like this. Okay, one, two, three to the front. Getting rid of the electric energy, we have Hitmonchan, Seeking, 
Pokemon Center Lady, Glossifer, Silicabra, Yamper, Krabby, Cuffant, a Reverse Joltik, and on the very end, a Lapras V. We are three for three with these packs. What is this fucking luck? What is it with me getting amazing fucking luck in these boxes, but average to crap luck with frickin' the regular packs? What is it with that? What is next? We have a Celestial Storm. Alright. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going to quickly remove the code card on top and not look at it. Don't care what it is. Okay. Alright, one, two, three to the front. Getting rid of the Psychic Energy. We have... Lombre, an energy switch, a Grovile, a Bagon, or B Bagon, a Torchic, a Love Disc, some Spinarak, a Torchic, a Reverse Energy Recycle System on the very end. We have another fucking card, Banet GX. We are four for four with this. Oh my god. Even if we get dog shit cards the rest of the time, it's still a 50% Good pull rate. Oh my god. I don't know if packs are like this. If the, if this just specific one is like this. I'll have to look further into it. I, I have no fucking clue. Here is... This. Alrighty. We have the regular first Sun and Moon pack. Okay. Yeah, it's the very first one with a Pop Leo or whatever it's called on the front. Okay. Going to get rid of the code card right here. Okay, here's the code card, move that, alright, one, two, three, to the front, getting rid of the psychic energy, we have a pincer, a timer ball, we have a pelipper, a cosmog, a rowlet, we have a young goose, a torkoal, or tor torkoal, tor I think I was already torkoal, a litten, a reverse Ribum B, uh, and on the very end, a Cosmoum. Well, we are four for five now. That's still really good. Okay, we now have the Lost Thunder Pack. Let's see here. Come on, come on. Don't fight me. Give it up. You're going to lose cards. Okay, let's see here. Get rid of the code card. Alrighty. One, two, three, to the front, getting rid of the electric energy. We have memory energy, spell tag, shuckle, a lowland diglet, a natu, a chikorita, a snubble, a ralts, a reverse morty. Morty! And on the very end, we have an umbreon. Alright. Four, four, six. That's still, that's still pretty good. The damn train. Every fucking video, the train passes by my house. It's like a damn curse. Okay. Then, I'm guessing this is, yeah, this is Sword and Shield, and this is the Cosmic Eclipse. But before we get into the last two packs, it's time to show you what I uh, was going to open up in the last video, but didn't wait for it. So in the last video, I said I had something coming in the mail, but it, uh, shut up! I'm making a video! I'm gonna, fuck it, I'll wait for the train to pass. Okay, the main horn part is gone, but in the last video, I said I was going to show you guys something, but I was going I couldn't wait for it to come into the mail. I wanted to open up the packs, of course. The next day, I got it in the mail, and that thing I got in the mail is a beautiful Gardevoir Masquer Moonlight Masquerade 3 Ring Binder. Let me bring the camera a little bit back for this one. Whoops, I dropped it. Alrighty. There it is. And look at it, you got Ralts on the right, Curly on the left, Gardevoir on the front. Would have rather preferred a Gallade, but they did not have one. I thought Guardia, or Gardevoir is, Cardia, Gar Guardians of the Galaxy. Gardevoir is a good, gar or good Pokemon too. The back of it looks really nice. I will be using this. I'm not like Max Mofo and I s collect this just to collect it. I will actually be using this binder. So, I'm going to put my rare cards and my hollows and stuff and reverses all in this binder. So, it will get some use. So, I just realized something. I opened up the Sword and Shield... 
the other Sword and Shield booster pack without unpausing the video. So, I'll just show you the 10 cards I got. I didn't get anything good from it, my bad. I got an Energy Retrieval, Claydol, Shinshu, and Nicket, Score Bunny, Pawneard, Mudbray, the Wacky, Pokemon Catcher, and a Drizzle, and a Psychic Energy. I added on to the fact that I got all three of the evolutions in one pack. I'm very sorry. I uh, didn't get anything good out of it, but I just got the reverse energy retrieval. So sorry about that. I completely forgot. I uh, didn't unpause the video. But, you know, live and learn. What are you going to do? Well, for this one, I don't know if uh, this is the last Cosmic Eclipse pack. Showed it off. Didn't even fucking realize my video was paused. I'm an idiot. So, I don't know if I flip, flip the card on the back or not. We are going to go ahead and just open them up. Or, look at them. Ponyta, Crawl Brawler, Carnvana, Shinshu, a Trap Inch. Okay, I did not do the thing. One, two, three, to the front. Get rid of the Dark Energy. Got Igglybuff, Probobass, Molo, and Luna Tag Team card. A Reverse Trap Inch. And on the very end, we got a Zatu. So... That was a 4 for 8 pack, which I'm still more than happy with. And of all the cards I got... Hang on, let me put all these up. I'm sorry again for not unpausing it. I should have realized it, but I didn't. Oh, I hope you guys can trust me on it. On uh, when, what I say when I say I got that sword and shield. I, I didn't get anything good. If I'd really gotten something good, I would have felt especially stupid. But out of all 8 of the packs, uh, the... Nothing could have topped the fucking Mega Charizard EX card. That one immediately went in a card and top loader. That is my most valuable card now. It's going to it beat Jirachi by about 17 cents. Or 16 cents, I think. It's going to replace Jirachi as my most valuable card now. But out of the eight packs, I got all these cards... Those are all just regulars, and then I got the Trap Inch, the Energy Retrieval, the Reverse Morty, the Ribbonade, the Banto GX, the Energy Recycle System Caterpie, the Holographic Victini, the Trap Inch, Reverse Joltik, and the Lapras V. So yeah, four for eight, still got some good hollows and stuff, and I promise in the next video, uh, mm, I'm going to open up the uh, Sword and Shield Elite Trainer Box, I promise I'm going to do that in the next video, I just... Bought this before it, offic it officially came out, so I decided to open up the uh, box first. But I will open up the Sword and Shield Elite Trainer box again. I feel like an idiot. I'm sorry I paused the video and didn't unpause it and open up two more packs. But what are you going to do? There's really nothing I could have done about it. So I hope you guys had as much fun watching me get some amazing cards as much as I did opening them. I promise the next was going to be Sword and Shield, like I said. But thank you for watching. Damn, that's beautiful. Can't believe I fucking said, what are the odds that I get this, then I, then I fucking pulled it.